everyone. Today I'm here to talk about <laughs> all of my TBR books. So I did this video a few months ago. I uploaded this video in the middle of May in 2017. It is obviously six months later, so I thought, why not do a check-in? Because check-ins and failure is always fun to talk about. So in that video, I showed you literally all of my TBR books. And I said my goal was to get it down to like 20 too, and that obviously hasn't happened because I just keep adding more TBR books, but I thought first before I show you again all of my TBR books because a lot of these are new, I would talk about the stats from that video. So I will leave the video right here if you want to go check it out and see what all my TBR books used to be, but quickly before I get into it I'm going to talk about the stats. So the total of those books in that video was 54 books I showed you guys that were on my TBR. Out of those 54, I read 22, which I was actually quite surprised about. I was like, wow, that's pretty good. I got rid of or I gave away or I gifted them to friends or kind of given them to the library, things like that. 15 of them. I know that's a lot, but I try to be very realistic with my TBR pile <laughs> somewhat. And the ones that are still <laughs> my TBR pile to this day are 17. So I think that's a pretty good number. Out of those 54, I read 22. I don't know how to do math, but I know that's not half, but it's close to half. So I'm okay with it. So the last video I had 54 books to talk about. Today I have 53 I think or I don't know somewhere within that count. Somewhere within that number. You guys can count and let me know the total of how many books I'm going to show you today. So obviously I still have a lot of TBR books. <laughs> Um, that's how it goes. So um, the first thing I'm going to show you are the books that are still on my TBR pile that were in my TBR pile in the last video. So these are ones that have been on my shelf for literally almost a year now probably. And I'm putting this on here to be very realistic about it. If I don't read these books, these, how many books are these? 17 books that are still on there. I think I either need to gift them or like just Sayonara, you know? So let's show you the 17 that are still on my TBR pile first, and then I'll show you all the new ones. The so, first one is Wayfair by Alexandra Bracken. I I don't think I'm going to read this book. I'm going to be 100% honest with you. I have no desire to read this book. Should I get rid of it? Probably. Can I? I don't know. It's this cover, guys. This cover is so beautiful, and I read the first one, so I was like, I'll just keep the second one. I don't know. My, I think I'm just going to have to bite the bullet and I'll read this book in another four months. Let's give it four months. So I'm going to have to get rid of it, I think. That's going to have to be my role here. I don't know. I just don't want to, I don't want to read it. I have no desire to read it and I just, I love the cover too much. I, oh, it's horrible party of one. Also on my TBR pile is Wind Witch by Susan Denard, the second book in the Witchland series. I think this is going to be one of my goals specifically to read the sequel for 2018. I like, I want to read it, but I don't because I've heard so many iffy things about it. So that's why I haven't even attempted to read it yet. So I just, I don't know. There's certain books on my shelf that I feel like are going to put me in a reading slump and I feel like this one might. So that's why I've been wary about it. So this one, I know I'm not going to get rid of because I still like the series, but I just, I need to read it still. Well, on the trend of the, on my TBR pile still is My Grandmother Asked You to Tell Me I'm Sorry by Frederick Bachman. I'm not too worried about this one. I've already read a couple of Frederick Bachman books this year and I really enjoy them. I need to read this one and I think winter times could be the perfect time to read this in my opinion. Maybe December, maybe January, who knows, but I'm not too, too worried about this one. Up with a list of cages. I believe I bought this around January of last year, so it's creeping up to a year I've owned this book and still haven't cracked it open so it's been almost a year my goal to read this before January here's to open <laughs> other ones I'm interested in I do want to read I just they're both contemporary so I kind of stockpile contemporary on my shelf to like save for when I'm in a slump and these have been on here for maybe almost a year I'm not sure Royce, Royce Rolls by Margaret Stoll this is kind of like a satire witty book I don't think it's gonna be amazing by any means but I think it's gonna be funny so I do plan to read it I just don't know when I'm not like super concerned about it being on my TBR pile and the same thing with the takedown by Corey Wang this is definitely not satire at all it's kind of about like a hacker but I've heard good things about it again I'm not too worried about this book it sounds like it's gonna be a good book and I'm just kind of saving these two for a rainy day if I'm honest with you like I know I'll read them, I just don't know when. <laughs> Another book is The Female of the Species by Minnie McGinnis. Again, I think I bought this in January, so I need to get on to reading this. This one, again, is a very gripping, kind of hard-hitting novel, so that's kind of why I've been, you know, pushing it away. I don't know what's wrong with me. Like, I don't know. 
Here's another one that I feel super great about. <laughs> Carry On by Rainbow Roll. Have yet to read it? I, I mean, I want to read it. It's Rainbow Roll. Why would I not want to read it? I think I just, again, like I said in my last one, I know it's like the last Rainbow Roll book I haven't read, so once I read it, I'll be caught up on all Rainbow Roll, and that makes me sad a little bit inside, so I'm like saving this for like a particular mood, maybe. What's up? Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. I said I was thinking about reading this in Halloween. Did I? Obviously not. Still have a crack this open. Again, I think I got this around January, so I don't know. I feel like I'm wanting to read this a lot, but I'm also very hesitant, but I still, I don't know if I can get rid of it because of the cover. <sighs> Decisions. A Tyranny of Petticoats. Been on there since January. I've already tabbed the whole freaking thing. I've only read a couple of stories in it. Need to finish it. Um, Miss You by Kate Upperland. This one's kind of up in the air because I read a little bit of it wasn't feeling it so I might have to say sayonara to this one. I might not. I don't know. We're on to like the last four that I haven't read that are still on my TBR pop from six months ago that I'm just <laughs> feeling real good about. <laughs> the Book Thief by Marcus Suzek. I know, don't throw your stones at me. I mean, look at this. It's freaking thick. That's why I'm very hesitant. And again, Hard Wrencher. Homegoing by Yaga C. I need to read this. There's no Honestly, there's no good reason why any of these haven't been read. Um, A Photographer's Life of Love and War. My husband got this for me for Christmas two years ago. Maybe three. What is wrong with me? <laughs> It'll be different, but Maria Simple. Again, another one I might have to say goodbye to because, again, I read a little bit of it. Wasn't really feeling it. I think I might be trying to compare it to Where'd You Go, Bernadette, and it's not the same. But either way, it's, like, super short. There you have it. Those are all the books that were on my TBR pile that are still on my TBR pile from the last video. So these have obviously been sitting on my shelf for six months and then some. So right, now I'm <laughs> to, like... <sighs> all my new TBR books. These have I have acquired in six months. That's right. Six months I've gotten all these books. Don't ask me what's wrong with me. Don't ask because I don't know. Um, Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Avritali. Definitely plan to read this. And the movie's coming out very, very soon, I think. So I'm thinking I'm going to read it the same month as when the movie comes out. I don't know when the movie's coming out. Hopefully I'm not biting myself in the butt. It's this month. I think it's 2018. Maybe February. Perfect time to read this. So The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Reading was supposed to read this in October. It didn't. I think, um, I don't want to get rid of this book. Oh my gosh. But I don't think I'm going to read this book, so I'm thinking of either just keeping on to it because the cover again, or gifting it to my nephew that really loves middle grade books, so that's going to be my goal for that. A Merit by Colleen Hoover. I haven't read this yet because I haven't read a ton of good reviews about it. Not worried about being on my TBR pile because it's Colleen Hoover. I know I'll read it. Um, some of these are 2018 releases too, so bear that in mind. Meet Cute by a whole bunch of people. This does not come out until January. I plan to read this in December. Not worried about this book on my TBR pile. I the song. This is kind of an anthology about songs, things like that. I'm not sure about this one either. I tried reading it, wasn't in love with it, so I don't know. I'm trying to, I try to be very realistic, honestly. I'm honest with you, I do kind of gift or donate a lot of books that I get because I don't like really think I'm gonna read them and I I don't have a lot of space on my shelves like I have this shelf and I have another shelf and that's it and I know a lot of people say take the decor off but it's in my living room so I don't want it to be all books and I personally just like a lot of decor and books on my bookshelf that's just me so I have to be very practical with space if I had a whole room that was like shelf city I'd have all the books but I need to be realistic. So the next one, The Hazelwood by Melissa Albert. Again, comes out in January 2018. Plan to read it then, not worried about it. These next few are my contemporary, or some contemporaries, like I said, I stockpiled them because I knew I don't want Wish You Were Here by Renee Carlino. This one I don't know much about, so it's kind of up in the air. I do want to attempt to read it though. Um, Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. Not worried about this one. I just saved this on here because it's Sophie Kinsella and I love it. This is her YA one, but I haven't heard too many good things about it. Um, Billy and Me by Giovanna Flores. Fletcher, I've heard amazing things about this book. Definitely gonna read this soon, like probably December. I just, am, I'm in a very much chick lit mood. By Sarah Shepard, this is the second book um, in like her mystery series. It's only 250 pages. Definitely gonna read it. Um, another one I'm definitely gonna read. I don't know when. Artemis by Andy Weir. The Martian. Oh my gosh, love this book. Or love The Martian. I need to read this book, obviously. Another one I definitely wanna read. I don't know if I'm gonna be saving it for next year till October. I don't know. 
I don't want to though. Bonfire by Christian Ritter. This is kind of a thriller novel. I love thrillers and I haven't read a lot of good ones so I'm hoping to remedy that. So a lot of these on my TBR shelf I'm not too worried about so we'll have to just like see. Um, I think this one yeah another January 2018 book is Love, Hate, and Other Filters by Samara uh, Amid. I have to pronounce that right. Super excited for this one. Definitely going to read it. Another 2018 release, this one in February, is The Bells by Danielle Clayton. I'm very worried about the size of this book. Like, how many pages are you? It's like 500 pages. A thick book, but I'm excited about these two. So I'm not going to really worry about the 2018 releases because it's not even 2018. I want to wait till the actual year that they come out to read them. Um, a next one, Far From the Tree by Robin Benway. Definitely going to read this book. I actually just checked out her other book, Emily, Emmy and Oliver, so I want to read that one first. Then this one, I can't wait to read this one. This is a hard-hitting contemporary book. The Language of Thorns by Lee Bardugo. Definitely going to read Read this book. I might just like read a story at a time. Here's a funnier one. The Twelve Dairies of Prista by Marissa Burt. This is kind of a YA Christmas book. I'm definitely going to attempt to read this in December. If not feeling it, uh, I don't know. Might be leaving. I oh, feel so bad. Everyone's like, you have so many books. Shut up. I know, I know. Um, the Lake Effect by Erin McCain. I didn't get this book till like the end of August, so I didn't feel like it was the right night time to read it, so I might save this for literally June. I, I wish I would feel bad about it, but I don't. Um, this one, I might, I don't know. This one doesn't sound like something I really would be interested in. Devils and Thieves by Jennifer Rush. Iffy. This one I'm definitely going to read. Ringer by Lauren Oliver. The sequel to Replica. Definitely going to read this one. Not worried. Me Together by Renee Watson. A very, very short book again. Only 260 pages. Definitely going to read this one. Here's one that I'm not sure about, but I don't think I'll get rid of. Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. I just, oh, I don't know if I want to read this or not. I don't don't know. I'm not the biggest John Green fan. I know. Go ahead and hit me, but I don't know if I'm going to read this. I really don't. Um, again, the same thing with The Enchantment of Ravens. I've heard so many mixed reviews about this book that it just kind of steers me away from it, but it's so short. No, it was 300 pages, so it's not too bad that I just want to kind of try it. Um, Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Deo. Definitely going to read this one. Not worried. Wicked Like lo, like Wildfire by Lana Popovic. Not sure about. Oh, definitely going to read this one. The Gentleman's Guide to, to Vice and Virtue. I'm waiting to read this when like I'm in a really down mood and I need something funny because I've heard this is hilarious. So I'm not worried about this. This one. Oh, gosh. The Last Magician by Lisa Maxwell. This is on my TV profile for like three months at a time. Still have yet to read it. Want to read it. Um, Friend Request by Laura Marshall. I started this in October and never finished it, so I'm not sure if I'm going to try it again or get rid of it. Okay, we're on to the last hunk of books. On to it. Um, Surprise Me by Sophie Gonzalez. This does not come out till February. I'm going to read the hell out of this, so I'm not worried about this. Um, the Becoming of Noah Show by Michelle Hawkin. Definitely going to read that. Just don't know when. Um, Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows. Definitely going to read. Sourdough by Robin Sloan. I've heard it's a bit of a quirky read, so waiting for my to be in like a right mood. And the last one, Daughter of a Burning City by Amanda Foody. I'm not sure about that, honestly. So there are literally all the books that are on my TBR shelf, like all the books that are on my shelf that I have yet to read. So it's a lot. It is a lot. Like this pile daunts the mess out of me. I'm not going to lie to you. But maybe I'll do one of these videos every six months just to check in and let you guys know what books I've read and what books I haven't read and what books I've gotten rid of. If you like that, let me know. Like if you like this idea of a type of check-in video, let seriously let me know because I actually really liked it. I like look I like being accountable myself and looking back and seeing how well I did. So yeah, I will be filming another one of these probably in December, January, February, March, April, May. So May of 2018, I will be filming another one of these and letting you know how successful or failure I was. Hopefully I will read. Like there's 50, I don't know, let's say 50 on this show. Let's just say there's 50. My goal is to read 25 of them in six months. I don't know if that's going to happen. I don't know. We'll have to see. So if you enjoyed this video by some stretch of the imagination of watching me fail, please give this video a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and please tell me my TBR pile is not the only one that daunts everybody. Like, is your TBR pile daunt you? Like, there's so many books that I want to read on this shelf, but there's so little time. <sighs> Here's to hoping. Here's to hoping that I can read a good majority of these in six months. <sighs> I'll see you guys later. Bye.